Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'll be coding, well I'll be showing you how to code a short script so you can make the mouse move by itself. So this is my, well this is my monitor, my desktop computer, so and the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do. So this is my channel, my IT workshop and this is the video we have done um, last, a few days ago, last, last week. So create a script to press F5 automatically using Python. So this is like a continuation on that video. Now we are going to make the mouse move. So I, I also have videos for automation using Python. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link, well, I'm going to leave the playlist in the top right of this screen so you can check it if you like it. So what we're going to do now is as always, I have my uh, where is my ID? Python. This is the one I downloaded from python.org and it's called mouseMove.py. Uh, it can be named anything that you may like. And the first thing we have to do is uh, import something. So import mouse, which is a library. I made a mistake here. Mouse and import time. But uh, this library is not included in Windows or the Python IDE, so we have to download it. So I'm going to open a CMD, see my other monitor, and we're going to type the command pip3 install. I already have it installed, but I'm just showing you how to install. So pip3 install and the name of the library, mouse. So it says requirement already satisfies. That means I already have it. So if you don't have it, you're going to see some more code. It takes less than seven seconds to install a library. So that's very quick. So as you can see, I have installed it. That's how you install it. And I'm going to close it now because we don't need it. So import time. And now I'm going to show you the library. So I'm going to go to the website, py py or pypy.org. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And this is the uh, library, mouse. Take full control of your mouse with this small Python library. So if you scroll down, it tells you how to install it in um, Linux. I just show you how to install it in Windows, Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8. Even I, I'm not sure Windows XP. <laughs> Uh, but it works for Windows 10. So if you if you if we click here, then check the a, a, API. So it's going to show us all the possible commands. As you can see, it, <laughs> there are plenty uh, of commands for this library. But the one we're going to use is the move uh, the move method. Um, well, there are not commands. There are methods. Made a mistake there. So where is the move? So let me look it up. Move. Okay, so it's over here, mouse move event. So if I click on that, I can check uh, this one move event index. Actually, this is not the one I'm looking for. So move, let's go back and let's find move. Dun. This is the one I'm looking for. So mouse move, we have the position X, Y in your monitor, absolute true duration zero. So now uh, I'm working on two monitors, that's my, that's my setup, but I'm going to explain something before we continue. So, but this is the, um, the this is what we are going to use for this uh, short script. So I'm going to put this down and I'm going to show you something. So this is uh, how my desktop is set up. This is my, uh, my two monitors. So the resolution for this one is one, one 1920 and this one is 1080 so with 1920 and height is 1080 so this is the monitor i'm working on right now so the resolution as i mentioned at the beginning of the video is different so it's a little bigger so you can see better what i do so the resolution here is different so this one is um width is 1366 and height is going to be 768 so for to find the position, if I type let the, let's say 500, is going to, the mouse is going to move over here, and we don't want that because this is another monitor. So we have to make some math. If you have one monitor, there is not an issue. You just have to check the resolution of your monitor, and you're good to go. And you choose where you want the mouse to move. So in my case, I have to add um, 1920 plus any other value on this monitor. Since the width is 1366, we can go for, I don't know, um, 500 more. 
So that's going to be around in this, um, there's going to be somewhere in this monitor. And the height is not very important because we only have 768, it's not related with this one over here. Okay, so I'm going to use a number around this. So that's how you, <laughs> you, you do it if you have two monitors and the, if the resolution is changed. So we're going to start doing it. So we're going to start doing a, um, a infinite loop because we want this to be repeated all the time. True. And now we're going to code, we're going to call the library. We're going to use the library. Mouse that move. And what we need are the core, um, the values for X and Y. As you know, X is this part, all this, and Y is this part. So we're going to do X. Like I said, we're going to choose a number and it's going to be 2630. That's, you know, the width. And the height is going to be 350, which is kind of uh, in the middle. Then we have to go to ab absolute value. So absolute, well, not, not value, absolute, only up. I made a mistake over here. So this has to be eight, absolute. And this has to be true, comma, and the duration. So how long do we want the process to last? So when the mouse is over here and it moves over here, let's say how how many seconds? So I'm going to put it three. You can change it to anything that you, you might like. Like I said in the other video, uh, I need to have a computer uh, not locked out or go or the computer doesn't have to go to sleep. So moving the mouse is something that is going to help. So it's going to avoid that process of logging me out or going to sleep or even shut down the computer. So now we are going to use the time library. And after they move the mouse, I'm going to wait uh, four seconds. What is four? And then I'm going to execute this again but we're going to move it a little. So we're going to keep Y. Oh, what I, why did I put 250? I want it to be 350. So we're going to move it like 100 pixels, like that. And then we're going to make it sleep for another four seconds. So, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to run it now, run. And as you can see, the mouse is moving by itself. So it takes like, uh, how did we configure, how, how much time? Three seconds. Then after four seconds, it's going to move to a location. Then after another four seconds, it's going to come back because it, it's in an um, infinite loop. So it's going to repeat this forever until you cancel it, until you close the Python, Python shell. So as you can see, it's doing it by itself. So now I'm going to close it. Okay, you want to kill the process? Yes. So now let's change it a little. So let's say I don't want the duration. I just want it to be zero. And this is going to be, we can change this like, let's say 400. And we are going to make it a little uh, faster. So three seconds. I save it, I'm going to run it. And that's how it looks. It, there is no, let's say an animation. <laughs> it just moves like that. Like it disappears and pops up again like that. So as you can see, it's moving by itself every, it takes zero seconds to move to the new location. And after three seconds, four seconds is going to go back. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to kill the process. And that's how you have it. But I like uh, <laughs> the, the animation, the process of movement. I like to see that. So I'm going to keep it in three, but you can keep it in, in, um, in zero or any other duration that you may like. And in the case where I really need this, I wanted the mouse to move every 10, um, 10, 10 minutes. So you cannot put, uh, you cannot type the time in minutes. You have to type it in seconds. So 60, uh, if I want 10 minutes, it's going to be 600 seconds. Okay, but we're not going to do that here because it's going to be too long. So that's how you do it. Then uh, one more test. So I'm going to do it like that. Save it. I'm going to run it. And as you can see, we have the movement movement now. So it's going to move there, it's going to wait three seconds or four, and then it's going to move a little down. And then it's going to repeat everything until you close the software, until you close the shell in this case. So it's moving like that forever. So you can avoid in this way, 
that the computer is going to go to sleep. So I'm going to close this. Now, as you can see over here, there are many, many things that you can do, many uh, methods that it has. You can simulate a click, you can um, drag and drop. So there are many interesting things that you can do. I don't know all the library, of course. I just grab what I need and um, I try to solve any issues, any problems that I may have. So the other thing I wanted to say is that if you want to do this on another computer, because this is of course mine, you would have to install Python on it, the library, and, and copy paste this short script. But maybe you don't want to do that because it's too much of a problem. Maybe you want to turn it into an um, uh, executable file, like this one over here, like I did in the last video. So if you want to do that, I have a video where I show how to do it. So it's over here, videos, and it's um, this one over here. Code your first um, graphical user interface with Python, part three. So if you click on that video, again, I'm going to leave it in the video description below if you're interested. And if you go to minute 640, it's going to show you how to turn your script into an executable file. So you can copy in a USB, send it in an email, and just double click on it and run it. That's pretty much it, okay? So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to create a script using Python, of course, to move the mouse. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.